Hi, it's Richard Duffy, the Cloud ERP guy, and what I'd like to do in today's session uh, where we're gonna focus on MYOB Advanced, I am going to show you how you can create a snapshot of your data that's kept inside MYOB Advanced. Let's say, for example, you might wanna take a backup just before you run a month end, or you're gonna do something in the system that you wanna make sure that you can quickly and easily restore back um, to a known state. This is where the snapshots can be very, very helpful. What you might also wanna do uh, is you might wanna grab a copy of that data just so you can say, look, I've got a copy of the data and it's held off site. So of course, with MYOB Advanced, it is all maintained for you by MYOB. So they're doing those backups and, uh, and making sure that the disaster recovery uh, is all in place. So you can always um, rely on MYOB to have that, uh, have that process done. But this is just for you to be able to go and say, all right, I'm gonna grab a snapshot, uh, I'm gonna grab a backup and, and take that with me. So in order to do that, what do we do? Well, we simply go here into system, then we go across here into management, and then we'll dive down here under manage companies. Now that's gonna show you a list of all of the companies that you've got available. So you can do a look up there and you can see I've got a number of different company databases. So pick the company that you want, and then you go in here and you say, create a snapshot. So now it's just warning you, make sure everybody is out of the system before you do that, because uh, you wanna make sure you don't end up with any potential chance of data corruption in your snapshot. So we then say, okay. So I'm gonna ask you for a description. So I'm gonna call this my backup snapshot. Now it's automatically stamping it with the date and time. There's a couple of different things to be aware of here with your export mode. This is where you can specify what components of the database do you actually want to pull out into your snapshot backup? So you can see there's all kinds of different options. You can get a full backup that excludes the attachments and the wiki, a full backup that excludes attachments, just your settings and business accounts without attachments, settings and business accounts, all kinds of different things which can be handy if you are going to use this snapshot to create a new company. But anyway, I'm just doing this for a backup, so I'm gonna say full. Then I also wanna say, I wanna prepare this backup for export. What that's gonna do, it's gonna compress it and create one single file for me that I can then grab and download onto my local PC um, or whatever device I happen to be using. Now then there's my export format. Binary is the standard format that was always part of MYOB Advanced. The XML formats are a newer format I like to use binary because nine times out of 10, I'm just bringing that data straight back into, a, into an MYOB advanced environment. So that's the easiest way of doing it. XML is great though, if you wanna have those, those files, uh, because what you can then do, for example, if you're a developer or an OEM or an ISV or somebody like that, uh, you're doing development work with MYOB advanced, uh, and you want to be able to take all your data out and you want to run it through comparison tools. You want to store your information in a source code uh, repository in something like um, uh, a GitHub or something like that. XML is ideally suited for that kind of um, that, that kind of usage. Now, you won't see too much of a difference between the two. For your average user, though, binary is the format that you want to select. So then I go ahead and I'll say OK. And what you'll see will happen now is my snapshot is now executing. You're going to see that will pop up uh, with a new line in my grid here. And it won't have the ready for export ticked. But a couple of seconds or maybe a minute or two later, depending on the size of your data, that will, um, that will come up with a tick box in the ready for export. Uh, and the little progress indicator up here, instead of it being either the spinning globe or the spinning wheel rather, or the uh, little X, the red X, uh, that will be a green tick indicating that the process has completed. So what we'll do, we'll give that a couple of seconds to finish off and then we're gonna come back uh, and take a look at that. So you can now see our snapshot has popped into the grid, but you'll see the ready for export is still not ticked. So the process has got one more step to do. Now, by the way, if you do go ahead and you create your snapshot and you forget to tick the prepare for export, don't worry because you can select um, a snapshot that has not been prepared for export and you can run that prepare for export step 
uh, as a second process. So create your snapshot, then prepare it for export. I like to tick that box and that way you end up with everything uh, all in the one set. Now, important point to note here as well, um, I don't recommend and neither do MYOB for that matter that you end up with too many snapshots in here. You should probably only have a maximum of about five snapshots that you keep on file. Remember, you can always store those out of your MYOB advanced environment and you can bring those snapshots back in. You can import those snapshots anytime that you want. So a good uh, practice to have, take those snapshots and put them um, in a directory or somewhere secure, somewhere safe, uh, and then you can always bring them back into the system. All right, very important point to note. So again, that's gonna finish off, so we'll give that a couple more seconds. Okay, so that's now completed. We've, you can now see we've got our ready for export. So when I would now wanna take that and export it out, I simply select that snapshot that I've got there and I'll go in here and I'll say export snapshot. What it's then gonna do is gonna say, okay, where do you wanna put it? Just again, a reminder that uh, you know this data is gonna be out of MYOB's control. So you're just gonna acknowledge that and then it comes in and says, okay, where do you wanna put that? So I'm gonna put it into my snapshots folder on my local hard drive, and you'll see it's a zip archive format. So I'll just say save. And there it is, there is my zip file has now been created. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna say open. And what the system's now done is you'll see it has unpacked that zip file for me and you can now see there is all of the files that are, have come out of your MYOB advanced system. Pretty much every single one of the databases or the database tables that, um, uh, that, that, that make up MYOB advanced. So for example, if you wanna look at one of these files, let's just take a look at the account.adb file. So I'm gonna right click on that and I'm gonna say open with, and I'm just gonna open it with text edit because that's a nice, easy way to see these files. And you'll see there is the basic structure of the database, but then all of the data that's sitting underneath that is actually encrypted for you. So the big difference, of course, um, with an XML version of the file is that all of that data is completely uh, readable by a human being. So um, that is, again, one of those differences. So for example, why don't we go ahead and we'll do that right now. I am gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create another snapshot so we'll go in here and say create a snapshot, exactly the same process, except this time I'll call this an XML data backup. And I'll say prepare for export. And this time I'm going to put it into an XML format. So I'll say, okay, let's let that run. So now we've got our XML data backup is completed. You can see it's ready for export. So I'm gonna export my snapshot. Just click on okay there again. It's gonna ask me where do you wanna put that data file? Put it in the same location. So I'll say save. Give that a couple more seconds for it to download. So that download's complete. What I'll do is I will now take a look at that file. There it is. And there's my zip file, double click on it. Now it's gonna open that up for me. And there it is. Now if you look, you'll see exactly the same file names, but they just have an XML extension. So now when I go in here, I can say um, open those files. Again, I'll choose text edit. There's my file now, same structure, but now 
all of the uh, records that are in the data file as well are visible uh, and readable by a human being or even um, somebody like me. So uh, there you go. That's the difference between those two processes. So now the next process I want to show you is getting the data out um, and you know really having a more granular level of control on the system. So what you can do is if you go here into system you'll see we actually have our integration engine and one of the options that we've got here we've got the ability to export or import data and we've got the ability to export data. So the process here when you are creating um, an export scenario you need to go in and you basically say in the system where do you want to get the data from so if I go and I'm going to call up one of our existing export scenarios rather than going through and building a whole one from scratch um, I'm going to show you an, an, an export scenario that already exists so let's say for example I want to export all of my accounts receivable invoices and memos let's say I want to push them off into another system for the sake of the exercise I'm going to call that one up and you'll see the first question it asks uh, or the first piece of information that you define is which screen name in MYOB Advanced is this reading from so effectively what this is doing is it's giving you the ability to go into any screen that you want and take every single piece of data from the underlying databases using that screen and you can put parameters in there that say you know I only want to get all invoices that have been raised in the last day or the last month or the last week or whatever the case may be and that's why when you get your screen name defined here the system gives you the option to go in here and say I want to view the screen and what it then does is it will actually show you the underlying screen and you can see all of the fields that are there uh, in that screen and of course you're able to go in here into customization as well and you can choose inspect element and if you ever want to be sure or understand whereabouts in the underlying data does that information come from you can use the mouse pointer which has now become a question mark you can go to the particular field so let's say for example I'm looking at my customer code field here and I'm thinking wonder what that is where does that data come from I can now click on that field and you'll see it shows me the control dot the control type um, what the data class is and in remember in MYOB advanced the data class is basically the the underlying table all right so this is the AR invoice the data field in that data class is the customer ID and then what you can do you can see here under your actions you can view the ASP um, source code for this screen you can view the business logic source code and you can go in and you can view the data class source code you're also able to go in here and choose customize and then it gives you the ability to go in and create uh, a new customization project where you want to start um, adapting uh, and modifying this particular screen but I'm not going to go and show you that that's out of the scope of this session um, but there it is that's uh, that's how you have another mechanism for getting that data out of the system so I've got that export scenario and then I can go in here and I can process that export scenario so I go up here into export by scenario and I find the one that I've got which is exporting my invoices and memos so I'll select that and you can see I've got two choices all right I can prepare the data so I can say prepare what it's now doing is it's running that underlying uh, export scenario and it's creating the data set in the format that I've specified now depending on the amount of data you've got in the system any parameters that you've put on it how long it's going to take um, or that will determine how long it's going to take for this process to run we'll give that a few more seconds uh, and then you'll see this table will get populated 
Now, just a side note while that's running, you also have the ability to go here into the history tab and each time you go and run this export, you're going to get uh, a, a, the details of that export here. So you're gonna be able to see each time that you've run that. And because this is creating a file, the other thing that it's gonna do when I tell the system that I wanna export it, you'll see up here in MYB Advanced, we have this ability to, um, you know, to, to see the files that are attached. When I run that export, it's gonna create a new uh, version of the, uh, the, the export file here and I can click in here and, and view that file. So we'll give that a couple more seconds to run. So our preparation's now completed. You can see it's pulled out all of the transactions out of my database. And then I simply go in here and I'll say export and now it's running my export process. And as it goes through and it runs through each of those transactions, as each transaction gets exported out, you can see we've got 7,263 of them. Uh, as each one of those gets pumped out, it gets this process tick uh, pushed against it. So that's now completed. You see our operations completed. And if I go here to history, you'll now see that I did my preparation um, and I did my process. And then if I go up here and look at my files, you'll see here is the file itself. I can click here on edit and then call up the document management functionality in MYOB Advanced. And you'll see each time I've created that file, um, there will be a version ID here. And I'm able to select each different one of those versions. All right, so I can go, I've got that version there. And then I can get the latest version. And what does it now do? It now downloads that file for me in the format that I've specified. Now, with this particular file, I specified that I want it to be created as an XML file. So that's why you're seeing that it's going to save that as XML. But when I define my export by scenario, this is where I have the ability to specify what kind of um, file am I going to have it created as? And the, per, the, the way that we do that is we use these data providers. Let's go back, look at our export scenario again. And you'll see I'm using this data provider, which I, has been created called Invoices and Memos. So if I look at this data provider option here and I call up that particular file, Go to our next screen, invoices and memos. It's gonna be here in a second. We've got quite a few. There it is, invoices and memos. And you'll see our provider type is the Excel provider. And I can see this is what the file is gonna look like. There's the schema, there's all of the files, all the fields in the file. And if I go back here, to my first screen, you'll see these are all the different provider types that I can choose from. CSV files, Excel files, SQL Server files, uh, and so on and so forth. So there's a whole range of those different files that are available. Plus, utilizing the MYOB Advanced Framework, you can even write your own data provider files. So if you're trying to export to a specific uh, external system, if one of these existing file formats doesn't work for you, you, you can programmatically create your own. So that's a couple of the different ways that you can get the data out of MYOB Advanced. Again, remember, if you're watching this um, and you're more familiar with Acumatica, the same process works with both because remember both MYOB Advanced and Acumatica are built off the same fundamental code base. So there you have it. Uh, if you've got any questions, any feedback, feel free to leave me a comment or drop me a line. You can reach me at richard at richardduffy.com. Thanks.